why story began at the Southeast uh, Dallas YMCA back in 1970 when I started playing YMCA football. I got a little trophy at the end of that. It's the only athletic trophy I've ever won. <laughs> it really symbolizes more than football and began uh, my relationship with the YMCA. I caught volunteerism from my dad, Jerry, and from Larry Parks. Larry asked me to serve on the board there in Rockwall, and I said, you know, Larry, I'm not a banker, I'm not a business leader, I'm just a YMCA volunteer who loves doing activities with my kids. Why, why would you want me on the board? And he said, that's exactly who we want on the board. I believe we are created to be in community, and there's no better community to be a part of than the YMCA community. We reach out to the special needs community through our angel camp. A special needs kid can come to camp for a week. Our partners campaign helps pay for that. We reached out to our educator community there in Rockwall and Roy City. And we have a teacher's prayer breakfast before school starts every year. I don't know how many organizations you can be a part of where four generations of your family can participate. It started with my dad and then me and my brother. And my oldest daughter, Alicia, uh, helped coach her t-ball team. My youngest daughter, uh, one of the great memories I have there is when we went to Camp Grady Spruce and she caught her first fish. Now I'm looking forward to my grandkids uh, starting their YMCA uh, career. I'm accepting the Charles P. Story Award on behalf of the wonderful community of the Chilton YMCA who show me every day what it looks like to love your neighbor as yourself and to be the hands and feet of Jesus to our community.